Okay, last of our training series here is let's go ahead and uh, DFP. And uh, I'm Ryan Dorn, uh, Internet Consultant from Brainswell Media. And uh, we want to go in and talk about reports, okay? Well, first of all, you want to make sure that um, your publication is, is chosen here. Obviously, it is. And then you want to be able to go and run particular reports. Now, you can run reports based upon delivery by advertiser. You can go and check your inventories. You can do it pay placed upon orders, uh, line items, actually creatives. So, I mean, there's a tons of different ways. You can run salespeople reports. You can run uh, advertiser uh, reports. And what you do is simply to kind of see what you have available, you just click, you know, on the left. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually want to choose. See, the date is off, okay? So we're actually going to want to choose, um, let's just say, uh, you know, today as an example. All right? And it's going to show us then the reports here. Here's Cleveland Clinic. Here's these different ads, okay? And it's going to show us how many impressions. And if, they're, if they were set up to be revenue generating or, or have clicks uh, based upon revenue, it would show there. You can search. And then you can actually export here. And so you can export to a CSV file, um, a TSV, an Excel, XML, whatever it is that you... Uh, that you want, okay? And so this is a really fast and easy way for you to be able to go in and, and punch out reports. Now, if you want to do, you know, based on each advertiser in and of themselves, then you can go in and pull up uh, just the advertisers by themselves. You can export uh, there uh, as well. Now, if you want to look for in terms of delivery, you can go up here to advertisers on delivery. It's going to give you a pretty similar report. Let's click uh, today. And um, you're going to see some very similar things here. You can go in and actually customize these, uh, basically any way that uh, you know that you that you want. Okay, now let's just say that you would like an advertiser report of all the advertisers uh, for a particular period. Let's just say uh, last month, as an example. Okay, um, there's no data, so but that, this is just an example. Last month, and you want this report to run every month for you for all advertisers. You just click Save and Share. Type in the name of the report, which would be uh, monthly report. And then you'd want to give some type of description here. Run this report automatically. Now, when do you want it to run? You want it to run monthly for last month. And then you're going to want it to notify you via email, you know, when it runs. Notify all others uh, on this report. And then you're going to type in who you're sharing this with. So it's going to send it to you because you're logged in and you can include everybody that you want in this list here as well. You can also then include a message. Then you can also choose how you want it attached. Do you want it attached as a Excel file, CSV file or whatever it is and click save and will automatically set that report uh, to run for you. Now one of the things I might suggest is you actually do not email these reports directly to um, the advertiser. And why might I suggest that? Because the interesting thing about it is you, you really want to make sure that you have the opportunity to view these reports in advance and explain them to an advertiser. But once you get them educated, you can just simply go and pull their report uh, you know, just by themselves. So you could just go to advertisers, choose whatever it is that you want. Let's say today. You can pull up them. okay, And then you can actually then go to save and share. Now what you would do in this case is you would probably want to go show them the report for last month, okay? And you would do save and share, type in the name, etc., and then the schedule. When, when do you want it to run? I want it to run monthly to show last month, and it's going to run early the first day of the month. Notify you via email, sharing, who do you want it to go to, how do you want it sent? And it's actually, you know, that, that easy. But again, I, I think I would set up a complete campaign. I would just say uh, down here, all advertisers or here under sales, advertisers I would do last month but I you know last month and then I would actually go save and share and then set this up to run automatically sharing it with all the salespeople or or you know whatever it is you know on your particular your particular team okay so that's really the last step uh, of DFP we'll talk about manipulating inventory and and things like that at uh, at another juncture but right now this last part part 5 is all about uh, reports and reporting all right, once you get through these, watch each of them a few times, and that will give you a real general uh, understanding. And then if we need to, we can get together on the phone and uh, discuss these uh, in uh, more detail. I think DFP is going to be a great system uh, for you, and really thrilled that you chose us to help you get it all set up. Uh, take care.